Okay, this is a fun DIY planter project that gives new life to materials that you probably already have. We welcome back the co-author of How to Plant a Room and Grow a Happy Home, Erin Harding. It's great to see you. Hi, Hannah. Nice to see you again. Happy We're Friday. Happy spring, yes. even if it's dreary outside. I, well, let's... <laughs> let's, let's bring some of the, the outdoors yeah. in. And, and There's always time for a fun plant project. There is. Well, I had so much fun last time with our planter that yeah. I decided to do something just a little bit different. But this is so fun that you can do with old dinnerware. Today, we are going to use sort of an indoor-outdoor dinnerware, but you can actually do glass. You can oh, do okay. wood bowls. You can do whatever. Yeah. The only thing you want to make sure in choosing your material is that Whatever drill bit you use and whatever adhesive you use mm -hmm. goes with whatever material okay. you're using. So we're going to make these today. This is so fun. That is so cute. Super cute. Yes. And I so feel like we all have these kind of patio dishes and, and wear mismatched. lying around. Mismatch. Mismatch. Not a full set. Where did they come from? Whose Tupperware is this? Yes. And <laughs> don't give them back to people. Just make planters. That's what we're going to do They live today. at our house now. Yes, exactly. So again, you can use cups, you can use different size bowls, you can use whatever you want. This is such a fun project because you can kind of create different looks. And I love the colorful. Isn't that fun? It's so fun. Yeah. So Why not? Also another fun way to bring spring colors into your home, but these are indoor outdoor, so you can also use them outside if you Ooh, want. Okay. Yes. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our bowls and we're going to decide the I mean, you can you can do whatever you want here. That's this so is fun. Sort of fun. Mix and match. Yes. So we're going to decide on the style and the look we want. Okay. And then we're going to drill holes. Now, this is a prop. Okay. There's already, one power tool involved. <laughs> already pre-drilled. <laughs> okay, good. So we're going to pretend that we just drilled the holes. Okay, ready? I, yeah. Look at us. We did I'm it. I'm very unpredictable, and I don't want to do that on yeah, my Yeah, it's a little so, scary. That's yes. okay. So the next thing you're going to do is take just a little bit of, of sandpaper and kind of sand the oh, bottom okay. wherever you're going to put the adhesive. That you're just going to kind of sand that off a little bit. Okay. Now, whatever your adhesive is going to be, so if you're doing this with glass, mm -hmm. you want like a diamond drill bit and you want something that will hold glass together. Okay. If you're doing wood, same thing. You just make sure you switch out your drill bit and whatever the adhesive okay. is. So when doing this, I like to try to figure out, like, where are we going to be kind of putting the, the glue? The connecting points, yep. yeah. And so you'll just kind of go around the edge. That little rim there, I yeah. see where they're going to. And this is just like regular old it's super so, glue for this well, stuff? Well, for this one, this is like a plastic, oh, cool. poly okay. type of glue. Okay. Fancy. Now, what I like to do is try to grab a couple of books. I wish we had some books oh, here. Sure, oh, sure, yeah. wait. We do have a couple of books here. <laughs> okay. If you want to grab a couple grab the of display. these, we can just. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> these are cute. Oh, okay. Who would have imagined? I mean, I don't know. So we'll just set those on there to kind of, you just kind of want to eyeball it and yeah. set them on there to dry. Okay. Most of these are about a 15, 20 minute set. Oh, nice. Okay. So we're going to set that aside and pretend. Okay, this is the one we TV just did. TV magic. Yes. Look at this. I like the scallop Isn't pattern that on that too. That is so, so adorable. You can do that on the bottom or the top. Whatever oh, you want. That okay. makes it versatile, which is fun. So real quick, we're going to, um, I'll do this so that your hands don't get okay. dirty. So we're just going <laughs> to do about an inch or two of soil at okay. the bottom. Now, you don't have to do the, the drill if you don't want to, the okay. drainage hole, but most of the time I recommend doing a drainage hole that's gonna give you the healthiest plant. Sure, okay. So this is a treat scantia and this is super pretty. I chose the purple because it goes with the purple I that we're gonna do here. I love the color on that, that's so pretty. And you really wanna break up, anytime you buy a new plant from a nursery or from the store, you wanna break it up and kinda just Pull the roots a little bit. Okay. Give them a little zhuzh, but not yeah, exactly. too much. Okay. All right, break that up, and then you're going to place it in your planter. Oh, those colors are perfect. That's, that's so I fun. Know, just that. Okay. I didn't realize how cute it was going to be until I got in there. I love I it. How cute it was. Okay. And then make sure that, I mean, this is such an easy DIY. This is so simple. And then make sure that you're getting all of the soil around the edge. Okay. Whatever potting mix full you use. 360. Yeah. 
Um, and then tamp it down a little bit, but don't press too hard because you still want, let's see, you still want a little bit of space. Sure. Right? Okay. okay. Look at so her. So this is, it's so cute, isn't what it? What a fun gift to give, too. That would be fun, or like an in like an outdoor gathering for yeah. a centerpiece or something like that you would be super fun. You could put a little fun. bow on it to add to the yep. color. And don't forget, you can always use cups. This is a fun little I like that one. The one. height on that, that is so cute? cool. Yeah, so lots of fun ideas that you can mix and match. And again, you can do wooden bowls, you could do glass, you could sure. do ceramic, anything you want to and make And then these. choose kind of for the locale, the indoor, outdoor plant of yes. your dreams to it, add to the color. Yeah, and it just makes it super fun because, again, mixing and matching. And then also they can be used indoor, outdoor, any time of year. Why not? You're all set. What a great project. And this is kid friendly too. I like that for the it whole family. Is. Hey, it great is. to see you. Thank nice you so to see much. You too. Thank My you. My fellow Westview Wildcat alumni. <laughs> hey, Aaron's book again <laughs> is How to true. Plant a Room and Grow a Happy Home. We'll have more information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more afternoon live right after this.